Hi, Larry Seiler with you here, and I think I've got a good one for you today. We're going to be looking at how I taught portrait drawing for many, many years, starting back in the 70s. My tools here I'm using today are kind of basic, which uh, are born right out of a classroom. They're just jumbo Crayola crayons. I also like using uh, lumberyard crayons, which are you know really nice. They'll hold up a long time. So we, uh, we're going to start with a box and have the eyes are going to be going across the middle. All right. If the face were slightly turned, we would use one point perspective. The head is tight, well, slightly tilted. We're going to do the same thing. We're just going to create a rectangle on a tilt. So here's my rectangle. I'm going to make my eye placement. I remember the box is the height of the iris and two of them would fit in it. Lighter in this side. I'm going to go back on the edge, kind of build that back up again. And you can see how that's starting to look. Okay, so I'm going to illustrate a side view. If we could take the eye and cut it in half. And this is our lens. And let's say a light is striking, and a strong light is a glare. Because of the structure of the lens, the curve, Kind of an interesting little suggestive mark for these eyelashes. I'll just make these little marks like this because they're very small. And then you can come in with your parentheses, be a little more accurate. Carefully look at your bow. If the light is coming from this side, casting shadows here, make an emphasis on this side of the nose. And you might deviate from that line a little bit, but you can measure how far on both sides for more accuracy. And that's basically the smile. But now what do we do about a mouth that's uh, you know, a parted? We can see the teeth like in a big, big smile, big, bright, teethy smile. I'm going to show you that next. This is a standard so that we can see where a person's face deviates or is different from one another. We can hone in on it right away. This is the cool thing. The standard or the comparison that I got from reading and what I came up with was equals the width of the nose. The distance from pupil to pupil equals the length of the nose, the length of the mouth. From temple to temple equals the bottom of the chin to the bridge of the nose. And then the bridge of the nose, is that cool or what? Okay, check it out on yourself. Once again, the head is rotated down, the ears are going to appear higher. The head is rotated up, the top of the ears are going to come across lower. With hair, I like to be more suggestive. Light reflection, flash reflecting right there. It's okay. And I would sit down with 12 by 18 white sulfite paper and a Lumberyard crane and a Sharpie. Try something a little different. You know, there's all different kinds of systems. Uh, not one necessarily is better than another. This, I think, is unique from the inside out. All right. It's been my pleasure. It's been a lot of fun. Take care. Thanks.